Welcome to Pavlov, your favorite dog channel. This video features an interesting real-life case study about dog dominance. No. If you are socializing your dog with other dogs or is taking your dog to the dog park, stay tuned for you will see some real life example today that may help you to keep your dog safe in public places. This is last October on a sunny day. We had many dog owners showed up to the dog park. All the dogs were happy and playing well together. Dogs are like little children. They usually play nice, but sometimes a daredevil or an ambitious one may try something else then a dog fight might break out. This can happen anywhere, anytime. So dog parents will need to know how to read their body language. So when they display certain behavior, we are ready for it. Where's Benchy gone? Ben Benchy, you look small next to him. First time Benchy looks small. You notice all the dog owners were keeping an eye on their dogs. And that's very good. The last thing you want is, is people tossing their dog over the pen and just leave their dog unsupervised with a whole lot of other dogs they don't know. We got someone looking very similar. Is it a kind of corso? Uh, it's a nail. It's a nail? Okay. Yeah, nail master. That's a kind of corso. It's a pure bread kind of corso. He, oh, <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of skin like typical nail. He looks. No, it's not Hank. You can't draw one. <laughs> they look so much alike. They're they cousins, aren't they? They're cousins. You are gorgeous. Oh, wow. In this busy dog park, it's all about fun, fun, fun for both parents and the dogs. Just like watching children playing. Very in strong dogs. Pool. You can say we're a bit like parents being lifeguards. Enjoying our day, watching our dogs have fun, but also keeping things safe. Do you see anything out of ordinary? The good news is our four-legged friends here are very open to express themselves. Kennel or public dog accidents can be avoided if we know them well enough. Yeah, he likes to be on top. After watching the dominant behavior, we now can see an incident took place. What's important is, did we notice anything different? Did we notice any cue before the incident? Here you can see the Rottweiler popped up its body posture and walked straight into the frame. The way he looked at my kind of corso, direct eye to eye contact, now displays himself, tells us that he's about to dominate over my dog. Besides the direct eye contact starting a steering contest, it tried to securely rest its muzzle on top of my dog while looking at him in the eye, showing dominance and observing my dog's response. My Connor Corso did not submit, nor did he challenge back. He just walked away like he couldn't care less. The Rottweiler was more about testing and challenging my dog than playing. From here, things can escalate very quickly if my dog responds with aggression. If you see this is happening to you or any other dogs that you know, at this point, you should really interfere immediately and discourage such behavior. If the dog listens to the owners, this should be the end of it. It helps to know my Kane Corso at the time was just a giant puppy. He wasn't even lifting his legs when he was peeing. He squat and pee like a puppy. Being a big goofy puppy, he didn't care less about his alpha position or whatnot. He just walked away, which is a good thing. He turned around, looked at the Rottweiler and just wandered off. Then the Rottweiler turned to the much more excited high energy bull mastiff. This time he jumped right on. The owner of the bull mastiff was standing by and he was already being watched for because of their previous interactions earlier. <laughs> As soon as it escalated, he was able to step in and stop these big male dogs from hurting each other. And what happened after that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All three dogs kept on playing in the same dog park peacefully and all the, all the dogs went home safe. 
Big thanks to all the discerning dog owners who knows how to read their dog's body language and respond promptly when necessary. As you can see, it's good to know your dog's body language and know when to respond promptly when necessary. This keeps the playground safe for everyone with no accidents for all dogs, big or small. Benji, you play gentle. Oh, maybe you are not. I'm, I'm okay, I'm good. I'm, I'm dressed up for it. I'm all dressed up for it. It's all good. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hope this video is helpful. Let me know your thoughts and please comment it down in the box below. And don't forget, like, sub, and see you soon.